Hi, Dr. Yas here. I just wanted to comment on an issue that I think is confusing a lot of people about the nature of the pain they're experiencing, whether it's at their neck, their back, or any of the extremity joints. And this is the idea that the pain is associated with inflammation. A lot of physicians will promote this as soon as you go to them and you mention that you're having this pain, there's a natural inclination to say, oh, it must be inflammation. And typically anti-inflammatory such as Celebrex, um, any other of these non-steroidal anti-inflammatories might be provided. If it's some more serious type of medication, they might actually try to promote prednisone. Um, if we get to joint related issues such as shoulder or hip, they might tell you you have bursitis, which is a form of inflammation, and they might go towards giving you a cortisone shot. What you must understand is inflammation, just as with every other issue in the body, presents with very specific symptoms. So, for instance, let's look at some examples of an inflammatory response in action. So, let's say that you sprained your ankle. What do you see happen? You see swelling you see heat, and you see pain. If you were to have a contusion, you banged your shin or your thigh, what do you see happen? Heat, swelling, and pain. You could look at a pimple. You could look at the flu. You could look at an allergic reaction to some sort of allergen like a bee sting, and what do you see? Swelling, pain, and heat. So. The three key symptoms that indicate that a inflammatory response is actually going on is heat, swelling, and pain. If you look at the vast majority of people, I've been doing this for 22 years, I've treated almost 15,000 people. In 99.9% .9 of cases, there was pain, but there was no swelling or heat. So clearly, the symptom being experienced had nothing to do with inflammation. And if it has nothing to do with inflammation, then there's no reason to think that taking an anti-inflammatory would be the appropriate measure to address the symptom of pain. Just so you could understand that it is possible for you to have pain and it be unassociated with inflammation, think about a kidney stone. Think about a heart attack. Think about a cut. Think about if I just pinched you. Any one of these situations, you would elicit pain, and yet it is clearly obvious that inflammation is unassociated. If I pinched you, you would clearly see that you had pain, but there is no swelling, there is no heat associated with it. A kidney stone is a mechanical limitation of a cholesterol molecule going through a tube in the kidney. A heart attack, irritation of heart tissue, a cut, obviously irritation of the skin. None of these represent anything to indicate that inflammation is available or a part of this situation, and therefore an anti-inflammatory mechanism to address the symptom is illogical and potentially dangerous based on the side effects that are associated with taking anti-inflammatory drugs. So quite clearly, let's just define that pain can occur without being associated with inflammation, Pain on its own is simply an indication of a tissue in distress. We want to identify what tissue it is, resolve the distress of the tissue, thereby taking away the need for the pain signal to be released, pain ceases. If there is inflammation, which is certainly possible, then we want to see pain, swelling, and heat. Without seeing all three of those, there is no reason to believe that inflammatory response is active and therefore the use of any type of anti-inflammatory would be not something I would pr promote or utilize. The other thing I want to point out about the inflammatory response is that it is a very short-term mechanism. It occurs when the body believes that there's some sort of attack on it, whether mechanical or systemic. The inflammatory response is something that only occurs over a couple of week period. So the idea that someone would be put on Celebrex for four or five or six or seven years is psychotic. It, it, it makes no sense whatsoever. There's no such thing as a multiple month or year anti inflammatory response. Inflammatory responses occur over weeks. So the idea of ever taking some sort of anti-inflammatory drug with the understanding that there's some inflammatory response going on for long term 
is outrageous, illogical, and makes no sense. Okay, so hopefully we have a better understanding. You can have pain without inflammation. And when it is pain without inflammation, the use of anti-inflammatories makes no sense. If there is inflammation, by all means, we want to use anti-inflammatories. But in 99.9% .9 of the cases I treated, the cause was clearly not related to inflammation because the only thing that was presenting as a symptom was pain. Let's use the YAS method to determine what the symptoms are telling us. That is the only true way to identify what tissue is eliciting the pain and therefore the only way to figure out how to treat the correct tissue so the right treatment can be provided and in most cases it is muscular. Therefore targeted strength training is the answer so we can resolve our pain quickly and effectively and stop this prolonged suffering that everyone is going through. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.